Hey folks, if you own an Autel Evo 2, it doesn't matter which version it is, and you're getting an error that says uh, gimbal not ready, do not take off, the reason it's giving you that error, as I found out today, is when you're trying to lift off the drone in an uneven surface, for example, you're trying to take it off from your palm and so on and so forth, the gimbal doesn't have a chance to stabilize, and as a result, it's not allowed to take off. And I'll tell you the quick story of what happened to me and how I found a solution to this problem, which is you literally have to keep it in, on a flat surface and then it'll take off rather quickly. I was in a park today and I'm someone that loves to travel, loves to hike, loves to do all those sorts of things. And I rarely find myself in, situation, myself in a situation where uh, I can take off any drone that I run on a flat surface. Usually I'll have to do a palm takeoff and I don't recommend you do that unless you're you know, use the proper safety precautions. But in my case, I'm very often stuck doing that. And so, because I'm so used to doing that with the Mavic 2, for example, and I've never had an issue taking off from my palm and catching it, I figured it would be the same thing for the Autel Evo 2. And when I tried to do that today, I was getting that error that's part of this video. And I was really pissed off when that happened because I was kind of expecting this drone to operate as well as the Mavic 2 Pro. And so I called Autel and they told me about what I said in the beginning of the video, which is you have to make sure that it's on a flat surface. And Another thing that you need to understand is if you find yourself in a situation like I do where you don't have a flat surface to put it on, um, tr try to lay out one of those uh, landing pads that they have for drones. Put the drone on that, even if it's standing and it's like kind of tilted, it'll still probably take off from that situation. So the person that I was talking to at Autel recommended that I keep the drone on for at least 30 seconds before taking off. And if I was getting the error, which was uh, gimbal not uh, ready and so on and so forth, don't keep trying to take the drone off because apparently the more times you keep trying to uh, you know keep pressing the button to take off the drone when you're getting that error the more it creates a lag for that process to happen so in my case when I got that error I kept thinking to myself what the hell and I kept pressing that takeoff button again and again and again and it wasn't working so once again if you can ideally take off from a flat surface like a table floor ground obviously not indoors but if you are getting the error, wait 30 seconds, try to put it on a flat surface, and then take it off again. And if that doesn't work, restart the drone, restart the controller, and then give it a shot. The whole point being is in order for the gimbal to work and not give you that error, it has to be on a stable surface so it actually understands where it's at. And if you're not in that stable surface, move the drone to a stable sur a surface. So if this video helped you, leave a like, leave your comments, questions, whatever the case is. I'll do more videos about this particular drone and the other ones I own. And uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask below this video. Thanks a lot.